Reef DVMs coming at you with the red and green corn shell review. Now we already actually reviewed this product, oh gosh, I think over a year ago. And we did it for um, shelling popcorn. And we really like this machine for that. But ever since I put out that review, people said, well, how does it do with walnuts? And I said, well, you know, maybe it's time this fall to run some walnuts through it. Now I've ran walnuts through this machine before, um, but it isn't the typical way that I husk walnuts. Granted, I get a lot more walnuts than a lot of people do. If you want to husk, say, a single tree's walnuts, this machine is just fine, as long as you let the walnuts sit in, like, a garbage bag tied shut or maybe a five-gallon pail with a lid because you need the husks to get a little soft, a little moist, a little, you know, like, maggoty type, okay? They got to get, like, they're breaking down. If you get them like that, the red green, um, you know, corn sheller that you can buy on Amazon or, or wherever you'd like to get it works actually pretty good. When they're green husks and you try to run them through this, they've just they're just too strong for the spring system, and it'll just kind of chew at them and pop them out with the husks still on. I would say the um, sheller will probably on any given day that I do this, let's just say 75 to 80 percent of them, it'll get the husk totally out of. 10 to 25 percent, it it still has some husk left on it when it's done. The other problem, as you can see, there is is depending upon how hard they are, they sometimes get stuck in the opening, and you kind of got to push them through. It's just the way the sheller is. It's just a manual sheller, and it works pretty good. Now here's more of a green one in there right now, and as you can see, it's it's having a little harder time. Probably didn't completely remove all the husk from that nut, but it sure tried. I'm going to show you here a side view of it. Um, this is this is working kind of from the side, and as you can see the the nuts will occasionally also hang up in the edges. Eh, I don't really care. I just keep rotating. Eventually they fall out. The other bummer to using one of these is that the nut and the husk all end up in the same pail. Now if you remember from my video when it was shelling, uh, especially with the popcorn, it would shell the popcorn off and then kick out the cob into another pail. It really doesn't do that with the nut. The nut just doesn't have enough length to it. So it kind of sits in the middle and then eventually falls into the same pail with the husk. Um, I'll show you a picture then of, of how I clean those out. It's still a lot better than taking your hands and breaking it apart. And it's still, still a very affordable method of taking the hulls off. I would say if you pick your hulls off the ground, put them in a garbage bag, seal it up, and let them sit there for about a good week. Let them get moist and soft and then run them through a machine like this. So here's a full pail after we've done it. I'm just going to dump it out here under the cardboard so you can see how they, they look immediately after the uh, corn sheller has gone through them. Again, this is a very simple tool that you can buy online, and it does a pretty decent job on walnuts. So now I just got to pick through. All the walnuts I'm finding right here at the beginning, they have no husk on them. They're dirty. They need to be washed. I get that. Um, I can show you how we do that on another video, but... For the most part, they're done. 10 to 25% of these, you're still going to have to bust some hulls off of. A lot of times, they'll be cracked open or damaged as far as the husk goes, but you're still going to have to get that, you're still going to have to get that husky hull off to get to that nut, okay, to get to that black walnut. But a lot of them, all you got to do is just pick through and find them. Here they are washed up. Um, typically, again, I... I wouldn't use this sheller for this large volume, but I did it for the video. I appreciate you watching and supporting our channel. We certainly need the likes and the subscribing to continue. Thank you, folks.